3. Measurement Measurement of length The end-to-end -end distance of an object is called its length. Neha measures the length of the blackboard in her class using her hand fan. She finds the length of the blackboard as 12 hand fans. When Sneha's teacher measures the length of the same blackboard, she finds the length of blackboard as 7 hand fans. Can you say why that has happened? To solve a problem like this, we use fixed measurements called centimeters and meters. A centimeter is a small unit for measuring length. A meter is a long unit for measuring length. One meter is equal to 100 centimeter. Tailors use a tape like this to measure clothes. This is the folding meter scale used by carpenters. A centimeter scale. Machines and carpenters use a scale like this one. Teacher's tip. Let the students collect some pictures in which workers are measuring some object using centimeter scales. This is a meter rod made of iron or wood used by cloth merchants. Let's measure the length of some objects. Meter rod About 12 centimeters About 3 centimeters about 5 centimeters about 1 meter about 3 meters about 2 meters about 5 meters about 18 meters project make your own ruler take a strip of plain paper then copy the centimeter marks from the ruler on the edge of the strip. Exercise Draw lines as shown to find the length of the things using the ruler. How long are these ribbons? Take the closest answer. Do not use your ruler. I am using my finger to estimate. Three. Write M for the object measured in meters and CM for the object measured in centimeters. Four. Use the measuring tape to find. Take the objects that are more than a meter. Measurement of mass or weight. To find out 
how heavy an object is, we must find its weight. We can weigh an object with a balance or a weighing machine. We use grams to weigh light objects and kilograms to weigh heavy objects. One kilogram is equal to thousand grams. One kg is equal to thousand grams. Balance Weighing machine Let us weigh some objects. About 7 grams About 80 grams About 900 grams About 1 kg About 5 kg About 15 kg Exercise 1. Read the arrow to find out how much each of the following things weighs. Two, write the weight of the object. Three, write G for the objects which are measured in grams and kg for the object which are measured in kilograms. Four, take the weight that seems to be correct. Trixie, how much weight is the man carrying? Make your own balance. Take two medium-sized plastic plates of same kind. Ask your teacher to help you to make three holes on each plate as shown in the diagram. Take some string and pass them through these holes and fix the pants to each end of the balance so that they are from equal distances from the ends. Now, take a thick wooden stick or a ruler for the beam. At the center of the beam, tie another string to form a loop. You will have to use this to hold the balance. Your balance is ready. Measurement of Capacity Volume the amount of water or any liquid that a container can hold is called its capacity. 
Containers that are large in size can hold more liquid than smaller containers. It means that the capacity of large container is more than the capacity of a small container. We use liters and milliliters to measure capacity. Milliliter is used to measure small quantities of liquid. Liter is used to measure large quantities of liquid. One liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. One liter is equal to 1000 ml. Let us measure the capacity of some liquids. About 5 milliliters. About 100 milliliters. About 250 milliliters. About 1 liter. About 5 liter. About 20 liters. Exercise 1. Write ml for the liquids which are measured in milliliters and l for the liquids which are measured in liters. Trixie, how much weight is the man carrying? How much weight is the man carrying?